guys, Matt from soundrolling.com. Thought I'd just talk a bit about my experience uh, in terms of intelligibility of dialogue and actors' performances. Thankfully, this hasn't come up too much for myself in terms of actors using this really, like, roughly unintelligible craziness. Um, but I just kind of overheard an example of it while Romina was watching Homeland. So listen to how this guy talks. Otto Durring at his club. I was on the thumb drive. Our famous 1361 files. What else? So you can see it's quite gruffly. But he gets worse. He starts off really good in the scene. Why on earth? I have no Why idea. On earth? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Let's say you're right. I highly doubt it, but... And then he goes back into kind of normal. Normal voice. But uh, it's, a, it's a very tricky line, obviously, because the more kind of gruffly and low and more intense people try to be, uh, it actually makes it a bit harder to firstly mix dialogue. So, for instance, if that was a noisier location, you'd have so many problems trying to denoise that because it'd be so close to um, the, the noise floor of the actual room because they're trying to be so moody. Um, but, yeah, like I say, haven't ha had too many experiences like that. Do often try and get actors to speak up as much as they can when they're in a really serious role. It's always a very fine line between a kind of director, actor and yourself to obviously make sure that technically the performance is right, creatively the performance is right, and obviously the actor is comfortable in communicating whatever they have as well. So it, it can be a tricky, tricky dance. Um, and it, But at the end of the day, if you really can't understand the person, and she plays it with subtitles, thankfully, so I can actually tell what the person was saying. Um, yeah, so let me know if you have any of your experiences in terms of getting actors to raise their level. Generally, all the experiences I've had, all the actors have been very, very cooperative. They understand that they obviously need to be heard. Um, and there's obviously a technical aspect to filmmaking, as well as obviously a creative one. So that's my little video for today. hope that kind of helped. Let me know in the comments uh, any tips and tricks you have. For instance, I always ignore rehearsals and then wait for the first take to get a sound check, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's me for tonight, and I'm going to be doing post-production all tomorrow, so also feel free to ask me any videos, ask me for any videos on post-production, on anything really, doing daily sound content, just throwing out my own experiences, and then uh, just seeing what all you guys think. So, hope that helped. See you later.